Hello once again, this is Orion Syndicate 910. Thanks for watching. You know, a lot of people are very concerned about the pesticide content of their food. Which foods that you eat on a daily or weekly basis contain high levels of pesticides and are there foods available that you might like that have low levels of pesticides or might have no pesticides on them at all? Now, versus going completely organic uh, we do need to have the proper information available to us so that we'll be able to make smarter choices when we go grocery shopping. The Environmental, uh, Environmental Working Group posted a study which was released March of 2009 called the Shopper's Guide to Pesticides, which ranks 47 popular fruits and vegetables based on an analysis of 87,000 tests for pesticides on these foods. These tests were conducted from the year 2000 to 2007 by the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the Food and Drug Administration. Now, the six measures of contamination which uh, affected the fruit or vegetables ranking on the list included the percent of the samples tested with detectable pesticides, the percent of the samples with two or more pesticides, the average number of pesticides found on a sample, the average amount in uh, levels in parts per million of all pesticides found, the maximum number of pesticides found on a single sample, and the number of pesticides found on the uh, commodity in total. Now the produce listed in the guide um, was chosen after an analysis of USDA food consumption data from the years 1994 to 96. And of course there is a complete list available. I'm going to include links in the sidebar for all this stuff, including the complete list of fruits and vegetables as well as the resultant data. Now, the EWG simulation of thousands of consumers eating high and low pesticide diets shows that people can lower their pesticide exposure by almost 80% by avoiding the top 12 most contaminated fruits and vegetables and eating the least contaminated instead. Eating the 12 most contaminated fruits and vegetables will expose a person to about 10 pesticides per day on average. Eating the 15 least contaminated will expose a person to less than 2 pesticides per day. And of course, if you eat a couple here and there of the most contaminated and a couple of the least contaminated, you'll have mixed results. Now, the fruits and vegetables were tested for pesticides after they were rinsed or peeled. And the Dirty Dozen, and here's the list of the Dirty Dozen, these are the 12 fruits and vegetables that you should avoid if you want to reduce your pesticide intake. Uh, on the list, nectarines had the highest percentage of samples to test positive for pesticides, followed by peaches and apples. Peaches had the highest likelihood of multiple pesticides, uh, followed by nectarines and apples. Peaches and apples had the most pesticides detected on a single sample, with nine, uh, followed by strawberries and imported grapes. Peaches had the uh, most pesticides overall, and that, of course, earned them the number one spot on the list of the Dirty Dozen. Among vegetables, celery had the highest percentage of samples test positive for pesticides. Uh, celery also had the highest likelihood of multiple pesticides on a single vegetable. Sweet bell peppers had the most pesticides detected on a single sample, 11, uh, followed by kale and then lettuce and celery. Sweet bell peppers were the vegetable with the most pesticides overall, followed by lettuce, very closely by lettuce, and carrots. Now, the 15 least contaminated, these are the ones that you should put into your diet after removing the dirty dozen, the top 12. As far as pesticide content of these clean 15, over half of the tomatoes, broccoli, eggplant, cabbage, and sweet pea samples had no detectable pesticides. Multiple pesticide residues were extremely rare on any of these least contaminated vegetables, uh, tomatoes having the highest likelihood. The greatest number of pesticides found on a single sample of any of these low pesticide vegetables was 5, um, as compared to 11 on sweet bell peppers. Broccoli had the most pesticides found on a single type of vegetable with up to 28, which is far fewer than the most contaminated vegetable, sweet bell peppers. As far as fruits are concerned, on the Clean 15 list, uh, fewer than 10% of pineapple, mango, and avocado samples had detectable pesticides on them, and fewer than 1% of samples had more than one pesticide residue. This is for fruits. 
Uh, though 54.5% of grapefruit had detectable pesticides, multiple residues are less common, with only 17.5% of samples containing more than one residue. Watermelon had residues on 28.1% of samples, and just 9.6% had multiple pesticide residues. So there's a list of the 47 fruits and vegetables which were tested. Uh, this only covers, of course, fruits and vegetables. Uh, cereal grains such as uh, corn, which uh, had, um, well, it's not really a vegetable, it's more like a grain or a cereal, uh, wheat and rice and other things. I'll be talking about that in a future video, uh, video. If you want to reduce your pesticide intake, if you don't know what's a GMO, what's not, well, here's a list of fruits and vegetables. Uh, this is a U.S. government study, the Food and Drug Administration, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and you can get the list yourself. You can print it out or save it to your phone or whatever and carry it around with you when you go grocery shopping. And I hope that this list has been helpful. And by the way, there's another website you might want to check out called What's On My Food, which is a searchable database which talks about fruits, vegetables, grains, and meats and the pesticides which are found on them and in them, which kind of pesticides. And I'll be talking about cereal grains, as I said, in a future video. This is Orion Syndicate 910. Thanks for watching.